Well, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce was on California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger's transition team after he won the 2003 recall, and she joins us right now. Tammy, you were a part of history in bringing back, um, in bringing a, a governor, knocking a governor out of office, a, a recall, effectively. The LA Times head, headline this morning on their webpage, Tammy says, remember Schwarzenegger's Sacramento shakeup? If a Republican wins Tuesday, it could happen again. It doesn't sound like they want it to happen Ooh. again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, they don't. Uh, and yet they know now that Californians, uh, true to form, are genuine rebels. Uh, it's the far west, effectively. People used to go to the west to escape government controlling their lives. Uh, and uh, hopefully it'll happen again. Uh, look, this is a very serious time. Uh, you, it's very clear why uh, the petitions for the recall went through across the board, Republicans, Democrats, Green Party members, independents, libertarians. This is about quality of life. It transcends partisanship. And even in that small clip you played, there was an allusion to comparing the recall supporters to, to, to September 11th, hijackers, mm -hmm. landing that plane of hate. I mean, it makes no sense, but it's vicious, it's ugly. It is a reflection of, of an establishment political class that has contempt for the American people. We see it in Washington. He clearly is an extension of this, Gavin Newsom is, in California. And the difference is this time, Steve, is that there's one year. The election is in a year in November, the regular election. This is a chance all Californians get to do is try someone else out. Right. It cannot be any worse. They need someone who understands business, who understands and cares about the people of California, and genuine freedom. Gavin Newsom certainly does not. You know, and in the last month or so, the polls, you know, he was in big trouble about a month ago. And now, according to the polls, if you believe him, uh, it looks like he is leading uh, substantially in some, some of the polls. But I think what's gotten lost is the whole reason for the recall. In the beginning, to your point, it was about the lockdowns and, you know, where did our freedoms go? Mm -hmm. And is this guy really the guy to lead us out mm -hmm. of this COVID thing? Instead of should he be governor, yes or no, it's become sh who should be governor, Larry Elder or this guy? Right. Right. And see, that's what they've wanted, right? They've wanted to have a focus of him against someone else. The fact is, when people get that ballot, it's, it's wonderful. It's two sides. You've got the one question for if you're going to recall Newsom, and then you've got one side of that front page with so many different names. Yeah. You then have to flip it over, and there are even more names. People are going to be reminded when they vote, wait a minute, there's many, many alternatives here, and it's all different kinds of people, and that is in the spirit of California. But I do think that ultimately when people get into that booth, when they, when they vote starting tomorrow, it's not going to be Joe Biden. They look at Joe Biden. My goodness. He, it's like everything is screwed up. It's a very good reflection, these, these two bumbling idiots, frankly, who don't know what they're doing. And I think Californians will do the right thing tomorrow. All right. We'll see. Timmy Bruce, we thank you very much for joining us today.